first bite you had in your... Oh, turn right onto Victoria Avenue. Victoria. Linda. Victoria. Turn right onto Victoria Avenue. Linda, listen. Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> festival called Balls Falls. We go every year and when I was little I used to think that it meant that balls would be coming out of the waterfall. I was very disappointed when I found out that was not the case. Do you remember the cat and the witch and the werewolf? Yes there used to be a cat, a witch, and a werewolf like mascots running around and I was scared of the witches. But, but they weren't like furry football basketball no, they were mascots. Like creepy. They were people with really good makeup. They were terrifying. And and when you're seven, they're creepy. Yes, the witch was a guy. He was a monstrous witch. And then the cat was was very cat. Like that Cats the Musical. Cats the Musical. That's what it was oh, Wasn't like. there a werewolf? Yeah. I don't know if that was a guy or a girl. I don't know. But, uh, but they would intersperse with the crowd and talk to the kids. And But they don't was, have that anymore. I don't think they do. No. If they do, you don't notice them because you're a grown-up. Yeah. But they're... No, I would still notice them. <laughs> you, would you still follow them around yes. and want them to be your best friends? Yes. The food is really good, and that's what I look forward to. The food vendors or the food from the food trucks? The food vendors. Yes. And so, those fries are good, too. Yeah. This is the best stand. It's just shortbread cookie. Flavored honey. No, we really like them, but there's not enough. These to be in bottles. So we just went into the food tent and spent uh, like $69. $69. So that's good. And now we're moving on to the vendors. AY. And this is Curtis C U R T I S 2019. Christmas 2019 or just 2019? There we go. There we go. Nom noms. Nom noms. <laughs> It's time for the haul of shit we bought. So first up, mom's driving right now, so she cannot be in frame. Oh, look how red my nose is because it's freezing. We got shortbread cookies and they're gourmet. The first pumpkin spice. Those were good. They're that so surpri good. That surprised me because I'm not a huge pumpkin Second, fan. Second, lemon zest. Those we got yummy. these last year and they were really good. Third, maple. We also got those last year. They're really good. And then the last one is just plain chocolate chip because you gotta go original sometimes, you know? So last year we got the raspberry. Yes. And there was another flavor that we weren't jumping at. We got maple, lemon, raspberry, and Irish cream last year. Oh, it's the Irish cream that wasn't so hot. Yeah, we did not like Irish cream. And then mom got maple butter. So good. I've never had maple butter. So good. But apparently it's so good. I don't sound like that. That's what she sounds like. Stocking stuff for my dad, but he watches my videos, so stay tuned for that, dad. And then we got our little ornament. We get one of these every single year, and we write our family's names on them and then whatever year it is how long have we been doing it um i think since curtis was born so 25 years 1994 it's been a very long time wait you have one without me on it before you were born i think it could even be just yeah i think it's just maybe it's the four of us it better be the four of us there how was, dare you there was life before you no there was not <laughs> and then my mom got salt shakers but they're not wrapped up them. you oh you want me to she goes and buys something from this artist every single year, and she always gets something new. So this year, it's salt and pepper shakers. So with dragonflies. With dragonflies, like that. So pretty. I also got Ricardo something for Christmas, but I can't show that because he might watch my videos. We don't really know, to be honest. And then we got five more dips because they're so good. They're like the best things ever, but we got bacon and cheddar and roasted garlic and cheddar because they're the two that my brother will actually eat. Wood oven pizza he'll also eat. And then we got 
roasted garlic lovers, which he'll probably eat that too, but he will not eat roasted red pepper. I never so, get this kind. You put one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise and then like however much of dip you want. I, well, it's probably like the whole package. This, it's supposed to be one cup of each, but I never use you, the whole package. But you tend to make single servings to yeah. take it to school. I work. bring it to work for like snacks. I got a candy apple because I'm an adult. Because that's what you get every year. I love it. Yee. So we go there with the idea of we can get Christmas presents, we can do this, we can do that, and then we end up just buying food stuff. Yeah, like we it, bought like, like we go to the food tent first where you get to try all the stuff as well. Yeah. And uh, we always end up buying the same stuff. Because it's delicious. Um, but, and then there's different jams, but the jam is so expensive for what it is. It's like $23 like for, for like for a, a thing that's no, this it's big. Like, it's like that big. It's pretty much this big yeah, but it it's, goes by so It's fast. made with wine or ice wine or whatever. They had a whole series of beer ones. Yeah, and I thought about getting Ricardo one, but then they're really, really sweet. And he does not like sweet, so he gets no beer jelly. Sorry, Ricardo. But yeah, that's what I, we bought for our haul today. It's like 4 o'clock on Monday now, but I figured that I would update you guys on what I'm reading before I go to Ricardo's family dinner thing. So I'm still reading Going Bovine by Libba Bray. I am now 282 pages in, basically halfway, and I'm still hating it. I just really hate it. I really, really hate it, but I've made it halfway now so i'm determined to finish it but i'm on like part eight of 12 in my audiobook and they're like an hour long clips so we're pushing through but not a fan and then i think my physical book that i'm going to read for the week is the seller by natasha preston except i haven't really fully decided yet i'm literally on page one but i don't know if i want to read this like i don't know if i'm in the mood like i think that the premise sounds pretty cool it's about this girl who gets kidnapped and put into a cellar and then there's like four other girls and they're all named after flowers i'm assuming that it's going to be like them trying to escape their captor but i don't actually know i'm definitely intrigued by it but i've heard a lot of like negative things about this author in her books so i don't know if i'm gonna pick this one up and then i also have king of fools by amanda foodie that i've been reading since april i'm on page three 372 of this and like I kind of just want to get it done because I am over halfway done but it's just like such an awkward book to hold because like I don't want to break the spine because I'm weird like that and refuse to break the spine so you have to hold it like really weird to read it and my hand gets tired really fast I know first world problems but it's not available on audiobook in my library I requested it as like buy this book but still nothing since april so we're slowly making our way through king of fools but it's really good but anyways i have to go to ricardo's dinner in about like 20 minutes i just filmed my most anticipated releases for november 2019 i might start editing that but my stupid editor system is not playing sound anymore so it just like plays the video with no sound so it's really hard to edit so i've been like playing the movie version on my computer and then like trying to match the picture on my editing system for like the cuts it's not a fun time so i need to get a new editing system so if anybody has any suggestions for a new editing system for windows because i don't have a mac i'm cheap i'm sorry so i've been looking for a new one because i'm using adobe premiere pro right now but it crapped out on me so we're searching for a new one i'm not gonna film anything at ricardo's house because it's like his entire family like both sides and I don't know if they're okay with being on film and I really don't want to have that conversation and ask them if they want to be on film so we're just not going to film anything and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's clips so Tuesday bye hello <laughs> it's Tuesday and I just finished work from 8 45 to 11 15 and then I went and got my nails did they kind of look the same as last time. Really? No reaction? What do you want me to say? She picked the same color. It's not the same color. It's the same color. color. It's just a little bit more red. Therefore, it's not the same color. Same color. We just went to Walmart for groceries, and now we're going to Costco, which means I get pizza. Right, Mom? Sure. Yes. And the pizza there is like humongous. It's like bigger than your head, and it's so good. And that's the update for right now. What did you do yesterday? I saw they saw that they that, 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 that. they saw yesterday. Oh, did they? Remember, I was vlogging all day. Yeah, but did you talk about last night? No, last night was fine. They just told me that I was too skinny the whole night, and um, 
yeah, oh, was over, the topic of conversation. Over and over and over again. Over and over again. And that's pretty much all we talked about for five hours. So, <laughs> great times. Bigger <laughs> than <laughs> your head. <laughs> For reference. I want everyone to know that I'm dating a psychopath. Because he bites his popsicles. Nobody does that. Chew them too. That's weird. Cereal. Hello, it's now Wednesday at like 1.20 p.m. I did not update last night because I went to dinner for sushi with Ricardo and then I had basketball practice. I'm coaching an under 17 year old girls basketball team, so I didn't read at all yesterday because I was doing shit. But I read a little bit this morning, so for going bovine, we're still reading this book. I'm like 310 pages in. You know, over halfway, we're pushing through, still not liking it, still not a fan. I feel like it's geared towards like teenage boys like that's the humor that i get from it it also used the r word a couple of times and i'm like not a fan of that like it's 2019 this was also written in like 2011 or something 2009 so it was written in 2009 so like i get it but also like not a fan so it really bothers me when books have that word in it even though like it might have been written at that time and that was acceptable but like it's not it never was in my opinion so not a fan not liking it hoping to finish it today though but I don't think that's gonna happen because I work at 3 15 so I've just been kind of listening to this I edited a video I downloaded a new editing software called Movavi I think that's how you say it but, but Madison Mary uses it and she recommended it to me and my mom said that she would buy me a editing software for my birthday so we just bought it a little early because like it was only $59 instead of like doing my Adobe again which is like a monthly thing for $20 and I'm like mm, <laughs> I don't want to pay monthly so that's where I'm at on that so I'm exporting a video and hopefully it's gonna turn out okay I don't know but I just filmed my Caraval review. I need to film my Daughter of the Burning City review, Eight Will Fall review, Serpent and Dove review. I have to do my thriller recommendations, which I was supposed to do a long time ago. Same with my spooky book recommendations, which I was supposed to have up in October. Have I filmed it yet? No, here we are. So I have a lot to do before work. It's 1.20, like I said, and I have to leave my house by like 2.55 ish to get to work on time so I don't have a lot of time so we're gonna speed film and hopefully it's gonna work so and then we're gonna read when I get to work so not this one though probably not this one probably the seller that's my guess for what's gonna go down unless there's a lot to do tonight at work but we'll see when I show up <laughs> don't touch me <laughs> hello <laughs> it is Thursday let me just fix this right here just fix, the, just fix the ruffle. We went to the dollar store to get me shower caps for when I dye my hair so that it's not like comes out really fast. And mom found this one and decided that I needed it. So I'm very pretty lady. Agreed. Oh, you're talking to me now? <laughs> yes, you're fabulous. Thank you. There wasn't any purple ones. Yeah, there was no purple. It was either black Flowers and white or... or these ones or like ones with kiss marks on them so oh, like, this like is what we chose work? yeah I didn't see that. we're going to the library because I have to pick up a picture book for my class we have to do like a project on social justice based off of a picture book so I ordered one so we're going to so get it and then I'm also gonna look at graphic novels because so far I've only read three books this month so we're gonna jack up our numbers with uh with some graphic is novels. cheating yes i'm a cheater leave me alone so just got back from the library and i picked up 19 graphic novels because apparently i have no self-control and they all sounded really good but i actually already finished one it's the street angel gang and this is by jim rugg and this is actually the fifth in the series have i read the first four no i thought it looked cool and cute and then i was like ooh. Um, this makes no sense what is going on and it was obvious that you like needed to know prior knowledge of whatever was going on so I was like I should look up if it's you know the first in the series and it's the fifth so I done goofed I'm giving it a three out of five stars and like I really liked the colors and like the panels and stuff like it's a lot of fun but like look there's a dang tiger and it was really fun because like anytime a character is introduced there's like character cards for them and stuff 
and I just thought it was a lot of fun. But yeah, three out of five stars. I should have read the first four in the series, but whatever. Um, now it's three o'clock. I'm going to work at four, so I'm gonna go eat, and yeah, that's that's about all we got today. Ooh, 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 update on going bovine. I'm almost done. I'm on page 412 out of 480, so we only got a little bit left. Hopefully I can listen to a little bit of it at work, like setting up rooms and stuff, but I don't know if there's any rentals, but the goal is to finish this dumb book so I can be free of it. It's Friday and I can finally say that I finished Going Bovine by Libba Bray and I'm giving it a one out of five stars. Was not a fan, did not like it at all. I'm actually like surprised to be honest because Libba Bray wrote the Diviner series which is like one of my favorite series of all times but this book and I did not work well together. I just find it super like crazy that an author can write two very very different books like I gave the Diviner series five out of five stars and I gave this a one out of five stars. It's just weird but yeah, not a fan. It's definitely going out in my unhaul video whenever I actually get to filming that. But since I finished that at work yesterday, I started another book at work yesterday as well, which I actually finished at work yesterday, but it is The Very, Very Far North by Dan Barrell. And this was basically just Winnie the Pooh in the Arctic, but it was really cute. Like I gave it a four out of five stars. It's a middle grade book and it's basically every chapter this polar bear named Dwayne meets another one of his friends and there's like a lesson tied into it, but it would be like a perfect book to like read out loud to your kids. And there's just like little illustrations throughout it that I thought were a cute little touch to the book. Like look at the little puffin, he's so cranky but so cute. I just highly recommend if you have like kids or like little cousins or something like that. And since I finished those two books, it was my physical and my audiobook. I have to pick two more. For my audiobook, I'm reading The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman. I'm only like 20 pages in right now, but it's about this girl named Nora whose best friend Chris dies and then she uncovers like secrets from like some ancient civilization in Rome or something and she has to like solve the mystery honestly. I don't even know. All I know is that it's a murder mystery. Prague. It's Prague. Is that in Rome? I don't know. I'm not good at geography. But yeah, she's got to like solve the murder mystery of her best friend and that's the story. So far, like nothing special, nothing really that interesting, but it can only go up from here unless it's like going bovine and then it can only go downhill. <laughs> we have somebody else here today. We're all going to the train station so we can go to Toronto. Mom and I are going to Cirque du Soleil. Where are you going? PGLX. He's going to go see his girlfriend. So What's it called? PGLX. PGLX? E-G-L-X. Electronic Gaming Enthusiast Lasting gaming Live Expedition. Enthusiast Gaming Live. Yeah, What's so... What's the X for? Expo. Expo. He's going to some video game thing to work so with Sam his is girlfriend. Yeah, Sam is working it, so he's going to also volunteer. He's also working it. Yes, so he took the whole day off of work so that he so didn't he have to bust. The so, did. so yeah, we're going to go see Cirque du Soleil, which is more important. <laughs> did you tell Curtis that we saw a shooting star? A shooting star. 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 We yes, saw a today. shooting star last night. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Like you. Or or <laughs> we made it, we made it, we made it to the circus! <laughs>
for keeping the aisles clear at all times. For the safety of our artists and for your own comfort, flash photography, video recordings, and my videos are not permitted in the big time. In order to ensure the satisfaction of every guest, we invite you to turn off your cell phones. And we're on intermission. We're on intermission. How do you like it so far? I think it's great. I don't. I saw this 30 years ago. I don't remember any of it. There was a fire guy, and he like oh, put the. Samoan. But he puts the fire on his hands like it's nothing, and just puts it onto the. He let his finger and let it onto the. Yeah, yeah, he lights himself on fire, and he doesn't yes. even. And he's like smiling the whole time about it. I think it's interesting that there's such a large supporting cast, and then two people who are doing the, the skills. Except for the ropey, the, the bar things, there's a lot of guys doing that. But do you find that there's something always moving all the time? Yeah, but I'm not allowed it's to, to watch, film eh? it. It's really good so far. And now we have 25 minute intermission. Pardon? From these guys that they're working on. They're cleaning up all the snow. They're the cleanup crew. You can see all the snow on the ground. birthday present early. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Okay. Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. I got you a replacement because you've been complaining about this one falling apart. His butt is so weird. <laughs> it's an extra fluffy butt. Going to go see what? What? Maleficent! And I'm so excited! Why? Because I really like the first one, so I want to see the second one, and Maleficent is cool. She's cool. She's a badass. I like her. So we're going to go see it, and then we'll review it when we come out. Okay, bye! Say bye. 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 We saw Maleficent, and it was really, 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 really good! Thoughts? Really, 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 really good. It was. It was really good. And now apparently we're getting alcohol. So. I am. So I just got home and now I'm going to Ricardo's house to have dinner with his parents and his grandparents. So I'm going to end the vlog now because I'm not going to film there because effort. So thank you for joining me on this week's reading vlog. Uh, there may be one next week. There may not, depending on how I feel. So I'll see you then maybe. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>